All right, so I promised I would practice speaking Creole or uh, Pidgin Nigerian English. I'm gonna be reading it because I am still not good at it. I can't speak it. Uh, I can kind of understand it, kind of read it uh, when it's typed. Um, but yeah, I've only been practicing like less than a month and it's just from chatting and I've done a couple like lessons from uh, a really cool American uh, who's learned like lots of African American guy who's learned lots of really cool languages like all the languages I wish I would have learned anyways I'm gonna practice just like a small paragraph of Creole right so uh, how you day do uh, how you day do uh, what did you day what did you day do uh, I go make now recording in Creole because Ray want for learn talk Creole my name Felicia my name now Felicia I born in South Dakota, but I come out to Washington. Uh, I go learn Creole because we like languages, uh, especially pidgin languages and African dialects. I been go, uh, I been go uh, Italy, we make African party day. Then I go, I, I been go Italy, and we make African party then. Then talk Creole and pidgin English and Nigerian pidgin English. We like listen. Uh, and and asabi asabi small small <laughs> small small I um but Ray won for learn talk Creole and now uh, I talk small small <laughs> uh -huh. so you can see I, I can I can make like basic sentences I I read the I read the uh, I read the I read the walk I read the walk uh. Um, I read the, I read the, I read the laugh. <laughs> Just little, small, small. I talk Creole, small, small. I, and I talk pigeon, small, small. Um, but I, I want for learn. I want go for learn. So, if you talk Creole <laughs> or pigeon English, Nigerian or Cameroon or or a uh, Jamaican patois too. Uh, Jamaican Batois is another one. Uh, so Creole is really cool. It's actually a language. It's not just a broken English. It's a real legitimate language that uh, was formed originally from uh, the Portuguese. So this is my I've, this is small, small history. So I don't know at all for real. But um, like the Portuguese mixed with African dialects. And so then you have like Portuguese words. And it also went and split, I think, then and went to Batois and the other Caribbean Creoles and Pigeons. And then after that, the British came in, and so then it mixed with British English. So it's a mix of Portuguese, British English, and uh, like African using African grammar, I believe, and gra African sentence structure. And so it was really cool because I could understand the Portuguese words. And, like, I knew Sabi, um, no, no, Sabi, uh, I don't know Sabi, I don't understand. I could I could understand that. And it was really interesting because I knew it was in English, but I wasn't sure, sure. And then like Pikini um, words, I think they came from J Patois. I don't actually know. But Pikini, I've known that one. Um, I've listened to the several books of the Bible in Patois just for fun because I think it's really interesting. And now I'm finding out like a Creole, like I can understand Creole as well. And um, and Nigerian, like some people Nigerian say it's the exact same thing. Some say that it's different. I don't actually know. But typed, it's pretty similar. So it's been super fun. Um, if you speak Nigerian pidgin, Cameroonian pidgin, patois, or creole, comment below and type out sentences so I can practice speaking them. And um, do comments in creole. And I will try to read them and practice and start start learning and picking up. And uh, hopefully soon I will talk, uh, talk good. Um, and learn more vocabulary. I don't know any vocabulary except English and like basic, 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 small, small. See, yeah, um, yeah. Also, correct things I do wrong. So, thanks, guys.